Cabinet has given final approval to the Bangladesh EPZ Labour Act and Flagship Conversation Act. Bangladesh's ranking on economic freedom has moved up seven notches to 121st. And the High Court has ordered the Department of Environment to take action against air polluters. Viewers, assalamu alaikum and welcome to my Tab English Bulletin. I'm Sheila Iqbal with you at the newsroom today watching the headlines. Now the details. The Cabinet has given final approval to the Bangladesh EPZ Labour Act draft. The approval was given at a regular meeting of the Cabinet in the Prime Minister's office in the chair chairmanship of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. After the meeting in the Secretary, the Cabinet Secretary briefed to the reporters that MD Sheffield Alam said that the law will play an important role in resolving the problem of EPZ. The Cabinet has also approved the policy approval of the Flagship Conversation Act of 2019. Bangladesh's ranking on economic freedom has moved up seven notches to 121st from 128 this year, according to the Heritage Foundation, a Washington-based think tank, according to the 2019 Index of Economic Freedom released by the organization on Thursday. The government's reforms have improved the freedom of doing business in the country. However, slower implementation of the reforms are undermining economic development. Bangladesh economic freedom score is 55.6, making its economy the 121st freest in the 2019 index, said the reporter. The High Court has ordered the Department of Environment to conduct mobile court drives twice a week in Dhaka City to take action against air polluters. The order came on Monday after the court issued a rule asking why the administration's inactivity on curbing air pollution in Dhaka City should not be declared illegal and why an order should not be issued to take action to limit such pollution. The court, had, the court has ordered barricades to be set up all the developments and in renovation products in, in Dhaka City within the next 15 days. Senior BNP Joint General Secretary Ruhul Kabirizvi said that the BNP will take decision on going to the Prime Minister's invitation. He told this at the press conference at the central office of Nayapalton this morning. The decision of the Na National Oiko Front is yet to be confirmed by the winners of the Gono Forum soon. Affidavits, he said. Rizvi also alleged that the Kaladazia was being kept in custody to cover her mischief of the election. The two pedestrians were killed when a truck ran over them on airport road early Monday. The accident happened around 12.45 a.m. Two died on the spot as a truck mounted a footpath after losing control near the entrance gate to airport. Airport Police Station sub-inspector said that the truck was seized and its driver and helper were detained. He added that the bodies were sent to the Dhaka Medical College Hospital more. Two suspected Yaba dealers were killed in a shootout erupted among two groups of their fellows in Tekna Popozilla of Cox's Bazaar. The incident happened in Hong Kong area at early hours of the morning. Police recovered the bodies, two locally made arms and 4,000 Yaba from the spot. The clash might have erupted over a profit share of the Yaba dealing, said the OC. The bodies were sent to Cox's Bazaar Shadur Pazila Hospital Mark for autopsy. Yes, that is all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join it, MyTV News Online, please visit www.youtube.com slash News and to watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecasted in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Till then, I'm Chilaigwal, taking your list. Stay safe and connected. Allah Hafiz.